We are now going to set up our projector so that we can display images and run shows. For the initial setup of our projector, we are going to use the main frame creation software, Laser Show Designer 2000. Click on Start, then navigate to Laser Show Designer 2000 program, and click on this to run the frame creation software. LD2000 then initializes the QM2000 and shows us the licensing agreement. You'll see this if this is the first time that you've installed LD2000 or if you've updated the LD2000 software. Once you've read the agreement and agreed to the terms, click on OK, I agree to the license terms. You then see the tip of the day window, which gives you helpful hints on a variety of topics throughout the Laser Show Designer 2000 program. This tip of the day window has a small button with an arrow that you can click on to view the new features contained in LD2000 software and to see other useful information about your QM2000 session. The About window is displayed. Here, with the Version Info tab, you'll find the latest features listed. You can also click on the LD Session tab to display useful information about your current QM2000 session, such as total memory, number of blocks, maximum points per frame, maximum frames. Click on the Boards tab to list information about your QM2000 board. Here we see we have just one board. We see the serial number, type, and the firmware code. And the General tab shows us some general information about Pangolin Laser Systems and the current LD2000 software installation, the dates, and so forth. Once you've viewed this information, click OK to go into the Frame Creation windows. Remember, you can access the About window at any time by going to the Help menu and selecting About LD2000. If you're using a projector that's wired to the ILDA standard, then plug the male DB25 cable directly into the female DB25 connector on the Pangolin QM2000 card. If you're using a projector that's wired for the older Pangolin QM32 standard, plug your male DB25 cable into the QM2000 to QM32 adapter cable provided and then plug that into the QM2000. Once we've connected our projector and powered up the necessary components, we're ready to display images. On the menu bar, on the control window, click View and then select Instant Test Frames to bring up a window of various test patterns that we can use to make sure our projector is working properly. We'll choose the ILDA 30K pattern here. Select OK, write ILDA 30K pattern over frame 1, and we'll exit it. We now have the ILDA 30K test pattern displayed at the full size of our scan field. Let's go to the Settings menu item in the control window. And the very first one is Projector Settings. The Projector Settings window is then displayed with various parameters that can be set for your projector. Next, we'll click on the Color Shift section to check the projector's blanking shift. We set the color blanking shift slider so that the top two horizontal lines in the ILDA test pattern stop around the top vertical line. As I move this left or right, you'll see those two lines move one side or the other. They appear to be most centered here, which is actually a color shift of five. This is the proper setting for this particular projector. Now we'll click on the defaults tab and click on Save Settings into LD Startup File. These projector settings will now be loaded each time you start LD2000. And finally, click on OK to exit the projector settings window. Our projector is now set up in size, intensity, color shift, and scan rate. 